Condi Hermanos from 1979 with a cedar top. This is going to be fun. So back in the 1950s, the Condi family were building guitars out of two workshops in Madrid. There was the Pioneer Workshop at 7 Gravina Street where they built their Primeras or first class guitars. This is where my guitar is from. And they also had the workshop at 53 Atocha, which was led by Julio Condi. Then in the late 1950s, the family decided to establish a third workshop nearby in Pozuelo de Alarcón. Here they started crafting Segundas. Despite being second class, these are still considered considered excellent instruments being traded at around several thousand pounds each today. The Blanco we're going to see is being sold by our good friend Diego, who has kindly let us guitar lovers see and test the guitar out. So thank you Diego and guys, please continue supporting the flamenco guitar community by checking out Diego's store on Reverb.com and showing some love for this video. So guys, let's have a look. So let's get this open. Ooh, okay. So the, the, the color caught me off guard, actually. Um, it's kind of, hopefully the camera's doing this justice, but it's like a, that cedar gives the guitar like a, a kind of burnt orange uh, color, which is, I just wasn't expecting for some reason. And just check out the grain on that cedar top. I mean, hopefully, hopefully you can see with the camera, but that is a ridiculously straight, even tight grain on the wood. And I'm just appreciating that rosette. Definitely got that vintage vibe to it. I like the look of it. Let's just have a feel. And that is very, very light, actually. Um, I almost feel the fretboard is heavier than the guitar body itself. And as you can see on the label, we have there the two, the two workshops being represented, the Gravina and the Atocha. And moving on to the back here, obviously we have a Blanca, so we have Cypress wood. We have a three-piece three piece back here. This wood is a bit more orange than I'm used to seeing. Uh, not, not as orange as the front, which is like a burnt, a burnt brown color, but still a nice deep um, yellow orange color for the back. Moving on to the headstock. Oh, what's that? <laughs> I just noticed we have a, a humidity gauge in the, in the case. That's, uh, that's kind of cool. I haven't seen that before. Anyway, back to the headstock. As you can see, it's a Segunda, so they haven't got maybe a, a super intricate design that you find on some of the Primeras. But still, I like the design. You know, it's, it's simple, it's timeless. Actually, the neck for me is, it reminds me a lot of the Francisco Marlon Navarro Mexican guitar that I, that I had. A bit chunkier, actually, which for me is okay. I have big hands. I actually don't like slim necks, like I said before. But just something to bear in mind if you're considering getting a guitar like this. And the action, I mean, it's a con, it's low. It's actually lower than what I'd expect. I don't know if it's just the, the strings are kind of loose, but that is a low action. So the scale is 663 millimeters. And I'm just realizing I don't know what the width of the nut is. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put that in the comments below, okay? Being a guitar from 1979, so over 40 years old, as you can imagine, some dents and scratches, a number of repairs have been done to the guitar, but it's, for me, it's to be expected. And overall, still just a, still just a beautiful instrument, actually. As always, let's just take a little bit of time to appreciate these wonderful instruments, wonderful craftsmanship. And as I said before, I'm just appreciating the color of that cedar top, actually. I mean, I, I wonder how it affects the sound. I'm curious to hear it. 